on the situation there. I just want to bring you the very latest that we're getting from NHK, that is the state broadcaster in Japan. They are now reporting uh, a new death toll of 90 people who have been killed. We understand 90 people have been killed. Many hundreds more perhaps are missing. But the latest death toll we have from NHK, the state broadcaster, 90 people killed. Well, Dr. James Thompson is a senior lecturer in psychology at the University College London. He specializes in trauma following disasters, and he has lectured on earthquake recovery in Japan. What are your thoughts, Doctor, when you see these incredible pictures coming in? Well, it's today? the ultimate psychological experiment, really one of the world's worst earthquakes hitting the nation that is best prepared to deal with it. So dreadful as those casualty figures are, they're relatively low. It's almost as if the earthquake is testing the morality of a country. Do you build your buildings properly? Do you train people? And of course, Japanese people since the 20s have been trained at school that earthquakes happen to take cover and so on. So in a sense, although I know there is a journalist's wish to say everyone's panicking, if you run to a place which is a bit safer, that's not panic, that's a good thing to do, all right? Actually, we understand, we can see these pictures from Yokohama, people screaming and ye yelling and yes. running. Clearly they are, because the earthquake has just yes. struck, but also Roland Burke, our correspondent in Tokyo, saying mm. things are very calm there. People yes. are uh, waiting for the green man before they cross Absolutely. the road on their way Absolutely. home. Absolutely. Panic is good television news. People just queuing is, is really rather surprising. But people did do that. Some people, after the bombings in Hiroshima, asked for help but still used the polite form of the expression, respected sir, please give me help. So this is a culture which is very restrained emotionally. You might say it's an extreme view of what Britain used to be in terms of its formality and its uh, restraint. And so this really is the test. Now, the, the further test is, when money comes through, will it be spent properly? In many parts of the world, even when money does get through, people fear that it doesn't go in the right direction. It's a real test. In terms of the trauma, though, we understand there are aftershocks occurring all mm. the time. Some of them mm. are as big as 6.3 yes. as a magnitude. Now, that's the size of the earthquake that just struck yes. Christchurch yes. a few weeks ago. Yes. These are big aftershocks. That yes. must leave people sort of perpetually feeling scared. Sure. Of course, remember, many people are resilient and others are less resilient. So it depends who you are and how you, what your nervous system is like. Some people can go through this and just become habituated. They begin to learn what earthquakes are like. Others, those who've had perhaps a scarier episode, uh, will be more on edge. I mean, consider if the television center were to be hit by an earthquake. Well, then we have some behavioral choices to make. You and I would dive under this desk. I hope I so. was raised in New Zealand where we ah, were taught, hop okay. under a desk okay. as soon as you feel I a tremor. Taught, but people here yeah. might not. Yes, might not. The interesting thing is people tend to escape by the way they came in, which is often the silliest way to escape rather than following things. Most people cannot think of standard routines earthquake routines unless they've practiced them several times and in Japan you practice at least once a year but uh, there's still some issues and the Japanese themselves after the Kobe earthquake felt they hadn't quite managed it right they hadn't cleared things up more quickly so once again particularly the government will be tested for its capacity and its morality does it really help people and does it give proper services to that minority who still have continuing psychological problems and the test, of course, that came straight after the quake was they've been very uh, keen to put in place mm -hmm. since Kobe. Yes. And what happens there? Because there is a um, few minutes, isn't there, before yes. an earthquake with that warning system. But in Japan, there should be sirens, there should be public announcements. Are you hearing that that all took place? In I there? haven't yet got that, that evaluation will take a couple of months, frankly. It will depend where you are. I mean, but Japan is probably the best in the world. And don't imagine that other people are going to be all evacuating as they hear about the tsunami. Some people will go down the beach to watch it. So people's uh, variety of, uh, of responses will be quite great across the world. Dr. Thompson, thank you very much for your insights. Thank you.